how do we check? Because obviously you might can think of changes that you need to make, but you need to have processes in place to actually monitor uh, what's actually happening on the ground. So the next few talks will be exactly about that. We start off with uh, Dr. Garmini Ratnayaka, who's a chief chemist at the Colombo Municipal Council, and that being the largest municipal council in the country. So he has a PhD in science and technology, and he actually, I'm just reading through, uh, he's on a lot of committees to do with uh, this is to do with the Environmental Justice Committee, uh, the Register of Pesticides. Uh, there's a range of things, all these things which affect both our environment and also the food we eat. And so this topic is food testing and public health in the context of urban development. Thank you, Ms. Dr. Rajanayaga. I hope, uh, can you hear us? And yeah. Can I yeah. share my... Of course. Uh, Uh, can you see these uh, slides? Not at the moment. I think uh, okay. I've got the yeah. share screen at the bottom. Or you can ask uh, Yoga Varadhan will be able to do it if, if you're having any technical difficulty. Uh, can I share it? Because uh, in my screen, the presenter is there. So mm -hmm. how can I? Yeah, I, I, uh, no, I think. If you want, if you can press the share screen on the bottom. Share screen. Right. The middle bottom. If you scroll down, yeah, at the bottom of the screen. Some here. Oh. I think maybe it's better that I share your uh, presentation, huh? Can you see this line which says mute, etc. at the bottom? Uh, wait a minute. This mute, stop video, security, and then from left to right, participants, chat, and then there's a share screen button. Uh, it's a green button. Uh, don't worry, I will share your screen. Yeah, so then... and you can ask you're going to want to change the slides. So we can yeah, yeah, great. Yeah. Mm. And now I, I see the green button. Share okay. screen. Yeah, try. Okay, I'll then I'll stop sharing. But it has gone again. Uh, any uh, don't worry, I'll do that uh, sharing. So you can just talk yeah. and we will work together. Mm -hmm. uh, actually, th thank you very much for giving me this opportunity to talk to you all. Uh, uh, Ten years before also I uh, came to uh, EU conference hall and I participated in JAPNA managers conference and I gave a uh, lecture about the vote analysis and so on. Anyway, uh, as a city analyst, I'm dealing with food water and wastewater analysis and uh, uh, mainly um, food testing is based on uh, three categories uh, we are analyzing for poor, poor quality food poor quality means uh, not supplying targeted energy and nutrient because uh, people are uh, making them substandard so uh, we have to find them uh, by doing analysis and uh, we have to stop them uh, just to cheat consumers, uh, then the adulterated food, uh, toxic adulterants will be there that will cause health hazards and non-toxic adulterants uh, intake of stuff not intended to consume and may be injurious to health. Then the manufacturing and processing uh, contaminants, uh, foodborne diseases and health hazards uh, causing by the contaminant, toxicant will be adverse effect like acute and chronic allergy, carcinogenicity, etc. Then, the, uh, how do we relate to the urban development? The healthy, nutritious food is the basic need for people to keep them uh, fresh, stressless and motivated to give out effective labor. So, uh, as Asians, we uh, take a lot of medicines as food, like uh, coriander, cumin, uh, turmeric, uh, and so on. 
So unhealthy food leads to sick community. Therefore, workforce reduced with sick people. Additional healthy people also should engage in looking after them. So that will affect. Uh, people waste time to see good food. Uh, that is also affecting the urban uh, development. Then the poor quality food. A uh, few examples, water added milk, char milk, then spices with high moisture or more growth, bread and bun with high moisture content, uh, chicken with high volatile nitrogen, fish with high trimethylamine or histamine or bad external appearance and so on. Then the adulterated food, a uh, few examples, fish with added formalin, uh, spice with added starch, common salt, added coloring substances and other extraneous matter. Uh, dry fish with melathion and foam. Spices, raw spices, dried uh, prawns and shrimps with added colors. Uh, uh, also with vegetable oil. These spices sometimes uh, people, uh, especially uh, turmeric powder, they add uh, starch and to uh, maintain the color, they will add carcinogenic dyes like uh, metanil yellow. You can identify easily by adding uh, put those uh, turmeric powder, a small portion into a white color saucer and put some uh, battery acid, that means dilute sulfuric acid, it will turn to uh, purple means uh, the uh, carcinogenic color is there. Otherwise, you don't have to panic about this thing. Uh, then, uh, pesticide residues or heavy metals in fruits and vegetables. Uh, then, dioxin in, uh, dioxin and polycyclic aromatic harbor, uh, hydrocarbons in barbecues and grilled fish and meat. Then unwanted flavors in milk, uh, raw bread, the picture is there. Then these are the uh, polycyclic aromatic hydrocarbon and uh, dioxin. When you grill uh, or barbecue, uh, there are <coughs> aromatic uh, ring containing amino acid, uh, tryptophan, tyrosine and phenylalanine. So the heat will produce the energy to initiate the reaction and uh, oxygen is there and a lot of chlorine also there in your cells of the meat or fish. So you, you will end up with the dioxin formation. So it is uh, carcinogenic and it's not good for your health. Uh, anyway, food sampling. I should say that uh, the sampling and the monitoring is very important. Because prevention is better than cure because people who consume uh, bad food or the adulterated food and if they fall sick, sometimes it will be very uh, adverse and uh, affecting to the economy and the development of our country. And other thing is the, especially in the water. Water is very important because uh, if contaminated water means uh, kidney and uh, liver function and everything will be interrupted. Uh, so you have to be very careful about water analysis and uh, food analysis. So. The food sampling, uh, food sampling may be uh, the PHIs and food inspectors are the authorized people to draw samples from uh, boutiques and uh, marketplaces, uh, even for legal proceedings. Uh, sampling may be random or composite uh, according to the place and situation. A random sampling means you go uh, somewhere and if you suspect, you take the sample and uh, brought to the notice of uh, authority so the uh, bring that uh, submit the sample to the analyst uh, then random sampling will be done for monitoring purpose and market rates etc the composite sampling will be done for import inspection and surveillance uh, this is very important because um, illegal or unwanted food should not come into our country so it is restricted by this sampling method uh, then food sampling Food sample, sampling will be divided further into three categories, formal samples, informal and complaint. The formal sam sampling uh, is sample will be, the, when we take a sample, when the authorized officer or PHI or food inspector go to a boutique and take uh, one sample, say spice sample, then he, that sample is divided into equally three portions, maybe around one portion, maybe around 100 or a little more than 100 grams. Then they will put into the bag, so whatever the very uh, safe uh, containers and uh, in front of the vendor, they uh, put all these things and uh, see uh, tight or 
tightly uh, close it and then introduce into uh, no, paper envelopes with the slip of the PHI containing all the details, area, date, uh, everything, but uh, not the name and uh, place or anything uh, about the vendor. Uh, so that uh, slip should be there and wax seal or some other sealing should be there. Then uh, in front of the vendor, uh, that's with transparent, three samples should uh, seal in front of uh, the vendor. Then the vendor also, the seller also can put his seals or thumb impression in the three samples and one is uh, keep for keep for every sample the other one is submitted to the analyst laboratory and uh, the third one keep with the vendor so if uh, if he is suspecting the analysis report is uh, not free and fair or some uh, he if he can't uh, trust on that the vendor uh, can analyze his sample uh, by giving to a laboratory a competent laboratory and get the report but uh, court won't believe that report then court will order uh, to analyze the refi sample from some other lab and comparing uh, these three reports and take a decision uh, then uh, formal sampling is that uh, that is for uh, chemical and microbiological uh, analysis both analysis uh, they have to take like that then uh, prepare samples send an additional approved analyst. Uh, uh, informal sampling means draw one sample without sealing or anything. That is for uh, the educational purposes. Uh, if you want to know what it is and uh, how the condition, uh, you can draw a for informal sample and submit it to a, a laboratory. Then they will issue a report, but it can't um, uh, use for prosecute or legal proceeding or anything. Uh, then complaint sample. Complaint means uh, if somebody goes to a, a restaurant or somewhere uh, while he is consuming some uh, food, food or something, he find uh, some defect or even uh, something is there. Then he can complain, but in front of the vendor, the authorized officer should go and take a letter from the vendor and the complainer, then uh, seal the sample and send it to a laboratory and uh, obtain a report to uh, go for legal proceedings. Then role of city analyst in safeguarding public health. The analysis of all type of food, water and wastewater samples. Because we analyze all type of food for coloring matters. We can separate all the colors and we can compare those colors are permitted colors or non-permitted colors. Then uh, even the permitted colors you can use for fresh uh, fruit and vegetables, meat, uh, fish and all. Then uh, water. Water is very important because uh, even uh, town water we analyze uh, in uh, weekly basis. We, uh, twice a week we uh, go somewhere and uh, because there are uh, plant, uh, plant sampling plan. So according to the plan, we go somewhere and even town water we uh, draw and analyze. Even the, from the tanks, there are tanks uh, located at Maliga Kanda. Uh, one tank uh, from the tank also we take samples and uh, look for a very basic test uh, called pH then uh, free ammonia albuminoidal ammonia nitrite nitrate uh, those are the main parameters because if the free ammonia is there means the animal matter decomposition contamination that means some uh, animal is uh, rotten and contaminating that uh, animal thing to the water. If the free ammonia uh, value is high, then the albuminoidal, uh, albuminoidal ammonia means the uh, vegetable matter. That means the tree, uh, tree leaves, plant material and other things uh, um, actually uh, decomposed and uh, contaminated into water. Then uh, albuminoidal ammonia is going high. Uh, important thing is the animal matter contamination means that animal is having a disease or something it will transmit it to the water and uh, toxic things also coming I mean the unwanted things then the vegetable matter also like that because uh, fungal 
um, toxins and other things also will come. So those are the important indications for water. And the nitrite nitrate means the fecal contamination. That means toilet pit or something is leaking. Even the pipe borne water, if the pipe is damaged somewhere uh, in between and contaminating the um, uh, water, then we can uh, find that water is good or bad. Uh, and um, the role of city analysis the, the, uh, is one of these. Wastewater samples also we analyze for BOD, biochemical oxygen demand and the chemical oxygen demand because uh, there are limits. By B, uh, BOD, biochemical oxygen demand should be less than 30 and uh, chemical oxygen demand should be less than 200. So uh, otherwise you can't release those water to the environment. That is how we can uh, prevent pollution of environment. Uh, then uh, the oh, sorry, but a, a, minute, a, a few seconds more, if you don't mind wrapping up, Sandy, because we, I think, it'll be tight for time at the moment. Yeah, sorry. Ah, okay, okay. Uh, then, uh, uh, actually, my role is food that uh, participating food debt advisory committee, regulation formulation committees, technical committees, and all these things, and mm -hmm. uh, advising to the standard institution for formulation standards, uh, mm -hmm. PHA training courses. Then, uh, actually, the city analyst lab is providing research facilities also uh, for the university students we are giving a topic to uh, do a research regarding food um, very important parameter uh, actual toxin or something um, uh, to detect these are the things uh, we are analyzing you can just uh, mm -hmm. see from the uh, this thing i can, i don't want to explain uh, because of the time restriction mm -hmm. and uh, i think my time is over now uh, so thank you very much. If you have any question, I'm ready to uh, answer uh, all those questions. Thank you very much, actually, Dr. Rajanayaka, because uh, it's something that, you know, we always think about. You can have plans, but you need to monitor them, as you rightly say. <laughs>